welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 12.44 hours on June 7th, 2013. We're tidying. Just a little. Just a little. We're getting better with the dust collector. That, that's what we have. Yeah, this is, this is all it's leaving now. So, our little Weedly dust collector does indeed collect dust. It doesn't get the big stuff, but it gets the little stuff, so that's, that's progress. Yeah. So what are you working on? Moving this stuff so we can take that sheet off from here. Okay. What's it, are we, like, is this table moving or something? No, she needs to cut Oh, she's got to start cutting them out? Yeah. We're adding cool. the other sheet on top of the existing pile. Okay. Brian needs that. Okay. Just so you know. I don't know where, but I know Brian needs it. And knowing is half the battle. Alright guys, time for viewer mail. It's 12.55 hours and we have a box. It's from Daniel D. Jager. Which means it's probably full of human kidneys. Ooh, sexy. You know what's better than those big industrial large extension cords? Red ones. That's cool. That's totally bad. That's a heavy deal. Then you get bored and just starts solving problems. And I like it. This one is also from Daniel D. Jager, who might quite possibly be the illegitimate son of Hugh Tassel. Because Hugh Tassel, nobody's heard from him. He's fallen off Tasmania. He's out on a job site in Karabekistan or something. Is there a note? There is no note. What's in? God, that's heavy for its size. Huh? There's a sticker. What's it? It's a ramp. It's a ramp. It might. I think it's too steep for the MDH one. I think that's what it made its way to the uh, list for, but yeah. Yeah, well, we're experimenting with a bunch of different ones because it's really hard to tell. What I need is one that's that high and about that long because the forklift twitches. But this is our continuing line of. And if we don't use it there, we'll use it in one of 20 other places. We have a lot of places that need ramps. So. Uh, uh. Cool. Thank you, Daniel. Rubber thin. It's nifty. It smells nice. Worst case, I'll make one heck of a doorstop. Band saw it. No, one solid piece. Just one, one doorstop. Yeah. For like NORAD. We may call this the NORAD doorstop. That could be kind of cool. All right, guys. We'll be back after this. You should buy a quarter. Here at the Geek Group, we've invented a new fundraising strategy. You can now purchase impressively tiny coins we've compressed using high-energy magnetism. We induce a current pulse of 100,000 amps into a copper wire coiled around a golden dollar dime or quarter, producing very powerful opposing magnetic fields that compress a quarter to the diameter of a dime, which you then receive in a lovely commemorative package along with the satisfaction that can only come from helping the Geek Group build our endowment, which in turn will allow us to put membership fees, donations, and sponsorships towards furthering the organization rather than just maintaining it. Carry a lightning bolt in your pocket. Available at thegeekgroup.org. All right, guys, time is 21.42 hours. We are here in the home of Andrew Weber. Er, Webster. 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 I've read it like eight times on email day. And he has... What's its name? Um... I haven't even gotten that far. This okay. is technically Mark V. This, this is his Mark v, Mark v Tessa coil right there. And, uh, well, let's see what it'll do. We're, we're doing some research experimentation at the moment. Here's his fabulous control system of, of Let Loose the Dogs of War. Yeah. So, all right. It's do or die. It's <laughs> That's how I go. It's just you. Scoop the diaper. Yeah, yeah.
That's it. That's your spot. You can hear it when it when it comes in. Oh yeah. 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 And I had a race there. Right at the very end. Yeah. Which is why I killed it. Okay. Well let's let's show the world what you got here. Let me uh let me power it down. So cool. <laughs> I, Isn't this sweet? Yeah. I love the sound I didn't realize it. it was loud like that. Oh, this is a quiet one. <laughs> Your rotary is way too twitchy. Yeah. It is twitchy. Way, 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 way too. It is twitchy. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, that old All right, so the, the unusual rotary gap you were hearing, um, I got to show you guys. This is, this is clever. Not Tell them what idea. you got there. This is a 10,000 RPM, yeah. 10 amp angle grinder. Um, Full phenolic. Uh, I had that laser cut. Really? Actually, rotor. Yes. Okay. Um, a yeah, company here in town laser cut it for me. Uh, quarter inch tungsten all the way around. Um, and uh, she she runs pretty well for being what it is. That's that's nuts. And now that ten thousand RPM. That's that's the motor's ten thousand RPM. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you know? Have you measured like strobed I have out? Not. All right. I can. I if you bring it over to the lab, we might be able to get an accurate. RPM measurement at that or just count the teeth here and count the teeth there and that's it. Um, but yeah, this is his coil. The build quality is excellent. He used a lot of wood where we usually use plastic, but he's not doing it anywhere critical, so it's it's tight. And it's it's all buried under coats and coats of polyurethane to help insulate and protect. That's that's beautiful. It needs a name, man. You gotta name it. I will do that. He's got 1,400 turns of 22.5 uh, gauge. <laughs> Why the hell did you get 22 and a half gauge? Uh, you know what? Actually, I, when I went to pick up the, the, I went to a motor rewind shop and they had a, a leftover spool still on the spool. Okay. That they sold me and it was like eight pounds for, like I think it was forty dollars. Cool. And it was supposed to be 22. It ended up being 22.5. So when I built my uh, my counter for winding. I came out to a bit higher than expected, and then after measuring it, I realized I had 22.5. It's fine. It's not candlesticked or anything. It's it's loud and proud, man. It's an awesome coil. So, and that that was a guesstimated tuning position for that first run okay. with the new top load. So I know this thing has way more. Oh yeah, yeah. Way more. Oh well, cool. So <laughs> which way you want to go? Here, you move the tap. I'll push a button. Here, you know, safety first. You move the tap. <laughs> Just because I don't have leaders, I always just... Yeah, we, we gotta solve your resistor issue. Oh, yeah. That'll be... Just make sure I'm still... Turn here. Oh, what? Fracture must turn in? Yep. Yeah. Doesn't like that. No. It wants to go out. So there, you got to see my safety go. <laughs> <laughs> Your safety needs, um, pick up a cheap arc welding mask. You can get just the filters. I've got it. You one. got one? Yeah. Put one in front of that. Okay. It, the, you'll that's protect why, your crowd, but just, why I use just a little, a little ding of straight here and you'll be fine. This is 100% UV. Okay. And it's it's full uh, plexi. Okay. So it's super strong. Okay. I've got it twice insulated for the safety. Cool. So that way, when the crowd is all back here. Yeah, I noticed you don't see the rotary at all, but that thing you. That thing you do. Yeah. But just put like a number four lens in front of it, you're totally fine. So. Now, the only problem with the way I have my. You gotta take it all the way off to change it. Build a new tap. Spring tap. I need the machinery for that, right? Well, if only you knew a place. I don't know. A place where you could go and have access to tools and equipment to build your dreams. And Chris, if only such a place I'm existed. Doing that at the Geek Group. The place where dreams come true. I like to use a nylon on that. Well, it prevents it from arcing over. Yeah, it no keeps size. it from arcing. The downside is you got to be really careful about cross-threading it. But it, because that... It's cheap. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> if I Nylon's it, cheap. Like 22 cents, oh boy. <laughs> I, I might break me. All hey, right. you've seen our lab. We're low budget, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get you a big disconnect. We should yeah. try to 
Thanks. Enough, I got to I got to get you a big disconnect. Crowd's demanding no light. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for letting me know. Come up a bit. Right off the uh, off the safety. Yeah. You've got. We got to build you a synchronous motor. We got to build you a synchronous motor because that's gonna. That'd make me crazy. You need you need a tighter control of the gap speed. Yeah, you've I know. got like all or nothing on everything, and mm -hmm. you got a great design that's kicking your ass because of bad well, controls. I have not had that problem before. That's because I'm here. Um, I, well, and it's a new top load too, so I don't know if um, I am. Um, it's totally my fault. Very hot. Yeah, they get that way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've not had because I could actually see it coming off here. So my E field there was really tricked out. I don't know if I should go out or go in again. I honestly don't know. Mm. If it's got tuning that's you know eighth of a turn fussy, then yeah. Well, we'll try just a little bit here and see. You gonna oscilloscope? I'm Chris. I started this in December. Was my first. Wow. Video. Okay. So I saw your <laughs> your video with Trevor in October. Okay. And I realized at that point, holy crap, I can build a Tesla coil. <laughs> because you know now I. Uh, anybody can build one. It's getting the damn things to work. That's the hard part. <laughs> well, you. I had bring us out to the lab. Out. I know. It was great till I got here. It's totally my fault. You gotta get get this out to the lab. Um, and we can, we can help. We can make it better. We can help you build a real control system. Yes. Because, dear God. <laughs> we'll be back. You want to try it again? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All or nothing, right? Hang, hang on a second. All right. This is a Neighbors not call the cops. Alright, what are you doing? I adjusted the balance. Alright. Whoa. It didn't like that, did it? You finally find that sweet spot on the motor and then it pisses out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys have fun. That's today's captain's vlog. I'm gonna hang out with Andrew and his crew and just chill. It's a good time out here in Holland. See ya.
I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning. Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek. Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek. Car buff. No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.